Hey, what up guys? In this one, we're remaking the very first video that I made ever on this channel and going back to my home course as a child uh, at Kings River Country Club. So uh, will it be a nice homecoming? We will see, but let's head out to the course and see how I did. All right, since I've last played this course, it's a different look uh, than when the first time I vlogged it, they even moved the tee box from the last time I've played. I've been doing a lot of renovations to this course and it's looking pure. That being said, on my second shot after a decent drive, just laid it up into the middle of the fairway so I have a good look into the green. End up thinning this one uh, and ends up having a decent amount of spin so it just goes a little long. Uh, but pretty much I have a decent length putt for my birdie. Leave that pretty short and so here is a testy one for par. And yeah, unfortunately, this one just lips out. So I end up just tapping that one in for a bogey on the first. So one thing that Kings River Country Club is notorious for is lightning fast greens. But since the summer's been pretty harsh, I think they're letting them grow a little long. This one, you don't want to be left. And I end up being left and in these trees. So I'm hitting a recovery shot just to get back into the fairway. Got pretty lucky, brushed the branches right in front of me, but ends up in the fairway. And so I have a manageable short second into the green, or third into the green, and I played it safe and made sure I had a putt. So here it is. Like I said, I'm used to these greens being lightning fast, but couldn't get the pace down. Ended up just tapping that one in for a bogey. All right, this next par five follows the river that's up the left-hand side. Uh, that being said, my drive ends up hugging the left-hand side, and I have a difficult second shot which I just try to advance as far as possible, though I am in this rough. So don't get a good club on this. Uh, ends up being pretty short. Uh, and that being said, uh, my third shot took a hybrid here because I was so far out. Flirted out right, and I end up going down this hill. And so I have a testy, testy chip here where I need to land softly and hopefully it doesn't roll too out. Fortunately, I had a putt look at this after a decent chip. And yeah. Thinking the greens were really slow, end up blasting this one by, hitting way too much pace on that. And I failed to actually convert this for my bogey, end up getting a double on this oh, hole. Man. All right, this next hole is a good risk versus reward type of hole. You can cut the corner on the left hand side to give yourself a better shot into this dog leg left. Uh, I played a little bit right of what I intended to, but I knew it was going to be safe. But like I said, I had a long second shot into the green. End up flaring this one out a little bit right, short into the sand trap. And uh, yeah, the sand traps here are just okay. End up getting this one out and doing a decent job. And so I have yeah, a decent look that. for my up and down par here. And yeah, this one just can't convert it. Ends up rolling yeah. it by, but I end up tapping in for another yeah, bogey. So here at the Kings River Country Club, you have to be pretty accurate off the tee or you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. This oh, hole wow, is no upsection. I end up going into the other fairway on this hole and yeah, I had to go way up high. So I picked a club I was comfortable with that I knew I can get over the trees, but not necessarily onto the green. So I just pretty much laid up to make sure I was back into play. So I ended up playing a bump and run here. Ends up going onto the green, but ends up being pretty short. So I have a long lengthy putt for my par. And here is the par attempt. Still trying to get the green speeds down. You know, I didn't practice any at all on the greens yeah, beforehand. Yeah. End up taking this one and uh, tapping in for another bogey. Oh, yeah. So I haven't had a part yet, uh, and I'm just struggling just to get back on track. All right, coming up next is a hard dog leg left. A cool line that people take that's kind of crazy is near my head. You can see a gap in the left-hand side. Some people drive over a person's house to get to the green. I don't take that line, obviously. Uh, this oh, next shot, right, I was in the rough. Right, totally Club got grabbed, and I almost missed the ball. Uh, and so I'm short, short of the, short of the green, and I end up taking my uh, wedge here, just trying to get it on, uh, hit it a little bit firm, and so I have a long one for my par here. So here's the par putt. Still trying to get the green speeds down. This is going to be a theme throughout the day, but felt like I hit a good stroke on that, and a tap in for another bogey. All right, coming up next, first par three on the front nine. End up hitting a pretty good shot here. So I'm on the green, uh, even though I have a long distance to go. So here is my birdie putt. And yeah, I just left that one super oh, short. And yeah. so I still have like a four and a half, five foot testy putt. And unfortunately, I end up missing oh, that one. So God. still searching for that first par of the day. 
All right, coming up next is the hardest hole on the front nine. Uh, if you hit it too far, you'll be through the trees That's and through the ball. fairway if you don't play a draw, which I end up doing. And so I got, luckily I had a full swing into oh, it, but I end up just topping it junk. and it goes nowhere. So now oh, I'm behind oh the stroke God. count. I just want to get onto the green and look how pure this fairway is. Oh, end up picking on this one too thin and it goes oh, over the green. Oh, and so I have to God. chip on. So I'm a little frustrated with the position that I put myself in. End up chipping on and having a good look at uh, Bogey here. And then I end up missing this one and tapping in for another double. All right, coming up next is a par three over water. I can't tell you how many balls I put into this little lake feature, but luckily I get this oh, one over the water feature, but stay I'm in the it, sand trap. So yeah, my sand oh, trap God. game is not all that great as you know, but just happy to get this one out. And so uh, I end up just chipping on and uh, yeah, I end up just Getting close enough to where I can tap it in. So another bogey. Uh, yeah, parless front nine, not great. All right, coming up next is a par four with an overhanging tree uh, where you kind of want to be. I barely squeaked oh, by this tree, barely. ended up in position A well, in the thanks. middle of the hole. Uh, that being said, the second shot hit a really good seven iron into the green and uh, leave myself with a pretty decent chance at birdie. So I hit the birdie putt and yeah, kind of knew it was oh. going in. And I uh, got my first birdie. So no pars <laughs> and one birdie for this round. All right, coming up next is a par four straightforward. End up on the bunkers on the left-hand side. And so I'm trying to get onto the green here, but I'm just thinning this one and barely getting out of the trap. So i just thinking on this next shot, just get onto the green, give myself a putt. And um, yeah, I leave myself with a decent like, par putt, but at least I'm putting. And here's the par attempt. And yeah. Ah. Just can't clean that one up, so end one up tapping that, that one in for bogey. All right, coming up next oh. is a cool par three. They say it's the easiest one on the course handicap-wise, but I can't tell you how many times I've missed this green or gone over into the river. That being said, uh, I end up tapping this one in for birdie. Easy game, right? <laughs> Golf works in mysterious ways, so no pars so far. Two birds and the rest bogeys and doubles. Uh, coming up next is a straightaway par four, but they made the fairway a little bit more undulated than I remember. Uh, that being said, second shot into the green flares out to the right uh, and gives me an opportunity to represent the bump and run gang. So here it is, the bump and run attempt. I thought I hit a pretty decent shot here, but it didn't really spin at all because I landed it into the uh, fairway before the green. And here is the par attempt, and I left that one short. So had another bogey. All, day. all right, coming up next is a lengthy par five. I end up snap picking this one into the oh, line of trees that protects right a lot of homes. That being said, my ball dropped in play, luckily, and I hit this next shot, just advanced it in the middle of the fairway, hit a pretty decent four iron, and poked it back in to where I have a good shot to get onto the green for my third. Uh, uh, hit a six iron here, okay. flared out a little bit get to the up, right, please. but at least I'm on and I have a long one for par. And then I finally had a decent length green regulation putt. Ah. Uh, and pretty much just tap that in for par. So this is the first part of the round for me. All right, coming up next is a pretty cool par three, but they removed a lot of trees on the left. I think there was a fire actually on the left-hand side, and the tree on the right got trimmed back a bit. Um, end up representing the bump and run gang once again, and yeah, I hit this one so close that I just end up tapping it in. Check how close this was. Just tap that in and hit another par. So as you can see, the round is actually decent until oh, now so this is a hole where you hey can there. take a lot off and i thought hey i'm playing like a small fade i'm going to just you know fade it off into the safe area but both of these balls end up snapping into the river so i'm down quite a bit here taking stroke and distance each time and finally my third ball goes over over this river part and i'm in the fairway uh, my my next shot i end up just hitting a hybrid it ends up rolling onto the car path and rolling quite a bit of ways and so i'm just hitting my seventh shot onto the green so yeah not looking good i can't tell you how many balls i've lost in this river thought it'd be cool to take some more off for the video I end up getting punished yeah i end up putting for my uh my my triple bogey and then end up tapping in for my quadruple bogey so yeah end up blowing it up on this hole you knew it was coming all right trying to shake that hole off end up just popping this drive up but luckily it's a shorter par four uh didn't hit it very far so i have a long second coming in and unfortunately i end up just uh hooking this one to the left and i'm in a sand trap so you know my sand trap game is not good end up just blading this one out of the sand trap way past the green oh and so i'm just struggling under this tree just to get back on i do end up getting like across the green but ends up going back into that trap 
and I end up taking two strokes out of the trap that you can't see off screen. So I'm already wow. down so far behind the count, and now I'm oh, putting for triple bad. from distance. And yeah, this is just a little bit frustrating to watch over again. And yeah, I end up just Boy. getting frustrated and tapping, quote unquote, tapping in. Luckily, I hit this one in for quad bogey. Like. So two quads back to back. So a little disheartened here. Thought I'd just go for it and hit it hard. I uh, end up hitting a perfect shot oh, into boy. the middle of the fairway. And yeah, this overhanging tree has always been here. And I thought I hit it high enough to get into a good spot on the green. It barely hits the top of the tree and drops straight down short of the green. So I try to do another bump and run for my bump and run gang. But I scoop oh, under it because the you know goodness. conditions around the fringe weren't very good. And then here is my par attempt and I barely oh. miss it. So I end up tapping for a bogey, but yikes, 20 over, <laughs> and a lot of those came at the end. Right, as you can see, didn't play very well on the front. Uh, was playing really well on the back until, you know, the 16th hole, then it all kind of melted down. But hey, that's golf. But yeah, it's just cool to see how far I've come in terms of a, you know, I guess, a video creator. Uh, and it's kind of fun to go back and, and revisit these courses, you know, that I've played, you know, for a long time in my youth and fortunate enough to play in my youth. So hope you guys enjoyed that one. Keep chasing and we'll see you in the next one.